Hello, this is Brandon Parker with Didactics Online. Today we're going to be doing the diagnosis video. This is going to be the unilateral and bilateral edition. Please see our all the other videos for the rest of the complete picture of the sacrum. So let me just get out of the way of the bilateral. Bilateral flexion extension is very rare. If you have a pregnant patient, however, a bilateral flexion is very possible. Bilateral flexion extension basically means the sacrum is moving together. The static tests will all look the same. So you'll have equal sacral sulci, level ILAs. However, when you get into some of the more dynamic tests, like the springing or backward bending, you'll be able to see whether it is stuck forward or stuck backward. So check out our other video on torsions to get through all those specific tests, but we're going to talk about more of the unilateral here in this test, this video, excuse me. So unilateral, as Rob put it in the bonus sacrum dance, is kind of like a side bending component to the sacrum as well as that flexion or extension. So first thing you want to do when you have the eye, when you have the ILA level unlevel by more than a thumb's width. So in those ILAs, you come from inferior to superior or caudal to cephalad. You will notice that the ILAs will be unlevel by more than a thumb's width. Now what this tells you is that either the left one has fallen or the right one has elevated. This video is going to be trying to tell you how you figure out which one has happened. So the way you want to uh, separate it out is an elevated sacrum, so if that ILA comes up, E for elevated, E for extension. So elevated, extended sacrum. And F for fallen also goes with flexion. So if you have a fallen sacrum, it will also be flexed. The way you figure out which side is which, you have a couple options. First one is the seated flexion. We discussed that in the torsions video. There's a lot of soft tissue that can throw that one off. The big difference between torsions and unilaterals if you have a positive right seated flexion and you find that it's a torsion, that information says it's a left axis, opposite of that positive. However, on a unilateral, that, that dysfunctional stuck side is the side that you're naming. So if you had a positive right seated flexion, you're dealing with a right flexion or a right extension for that unilateral. So now we're getting into figuring out how it's forward and how it's backwards. You have all those other tests. You have lumbosacral spring that we discussed in the torsions video. You have backward bending that we discussed in lumbosacral in the torsions video, as well as rep respiration. So what you want to do is, in this example that we had before, the left one had come down. Let's say that. So we would have a positive seated flexion on the left. It's lower. We know it's a left unilateral flexion for falling. Now the way we can figure that out is has the sacrum flexed or has the sacrum extended? If it is flexed, we know that we agree that it's a left unilateral flexion. However, if we saw on a different case that the sacrum had extended through our several tests that we could use, we would now know that it's not the left side that's a problem, it's the right side that is elevated and extended. So in that case, we would have had a positive right seated flexion, an extended sacrum, and now we know that, that right side is elevated. Everything I've said goes just for the opposite. So once you know that the ILAs are unlevel, you figure out either what side is dysfunctional or whether the sacrum has flexed or extended, and there you go, that you have the diagnosis. As always, these are very challenging diagnoses, or can be at the beginning in order to diagnose um, the sacrum. So please ask any questions below in the video or get us on didacticsonline.com. Thank you very much for watching.